Now shifting our focus, South Korea and Japan met for follow-up talks to last year's landmark settlement over Japan's wartime sex slavery of Korean women. While officials seem optimistic, saying they have seen progress during today's meeting in Tokyo. For more on what was on the agenda, Arirang News Kwon Soa from Seoul's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Talks between Korea and Japan on the so-called comfort women issue are not over, even though the two sides reached a landmark agreement on it last December. There's still the matter of compensation, one billion Japanese yen, or roughly nine million U.S. dollars, that Japan promised as part of the deal. The South Korean Foreign Ministry's Director General for Northeast Asian Affairs, Tong Byung Won, and his Japanese counterpart, Kimiru Ishikane, met for closed door working level talks in Tokyo on Tuesday. As part of follow up measures, they focused on ironing out the details of the establishment of a foundation through which the Japanese government would compensate Korean victims. Seoul, which is in charge of this part of the deal, briefed Tokyo on the progress of the project. We explained to the Japanese side how and when a preparatory committee will be established and the timeline for setting up the foundation, which led to deep discussions during the meeting. The spokesperson also reiterated that the ministry still aims to launch the preparatory committee as early as this month. Reporters on site were told that Japan agreed to Korea's plans. An estimated 200,000 women, most of them Korean, were forced into sexual slavery by Japanese soldiers during World War II. On Tuesday, Japanese Asa Shimbun reported that one victim's testimony was found to be almost identical to other witness accounts, as well as a description of the Japanese military's regulations. Moon Okju, ok who died in 1996, wrote she had to serve dozens of men of all ranks from morning till night. Konsoa, Arirang News.